Hi, hello. Now this is Kelvin. Now, um, first of all, uh, I'm a Christian and I like to um, using the basic understanding, the common sense, or the basic reading skills in English. Okay, and uh, to explain to everybody that um, <laughs> a lot of questions or a lot of mysteries or misunderstanding of the Bible. Okay, so. Uh, and uh, just by, um, you know, people are, people are no longer reading the Bible as it's written. So they don't know what it says because they're not reading the words. They're just thinking of that, what it might mean instead of what it actually says. Okay. So uh, in the following program, um, I'm going to uh, uh, buy topics. Okay. By topics that I'm going to explain, okay, um, what Bible says of all these questions, okay. So first of all, it's going to be the very short one, and uh, uh, people will ask um, about his return. Now, first of all, uh, the, I mean the return of Jesus Christ, of course, uh, in the Christian realm, of course. People say they they won't. Some say they won't come back. He he won't come back, and some says. <clears throat> Some, somebody said, um, you know, when he, I don't know, they, they might say uh, he'll come back and, I don't know, blow up the earth or something and make a new one because it says new heaven and new earth, right? So I suppose they kind of blow up the whole thing and recreate it again. And uh, so what about the, the people? You know, I don't know, you know. <laughs> now, all these are just imaginations. Like, clearly, they're imaginations. Uh, they're not supported by the Bi by, by by the Bible, okay, by the Bible. So, so basically, I'm going to tell you what it says, and we all we need to do is just to believe in the Bible, okay, as it is written, okay. Then we know the truth, and the truth will set us free, okay. Depends on how many truth in the Bible you believe, okay, and okay. So let's start from this, um, how. He's going to return. Okay, how Jesus is going to return. Now, the answer, very short, it will be just one sentence. It says, "He, uh, it will be, he will return as he left." Okay, the same form, right? So don't think that you know. Well, I don't know. Maybe in heaven, maybe I might be a pen or a ruler, a piece of rubber. I don't know. In all sorts of forms. And Jesus Christ will be, I don't know, maybe in some kind of a cloud or something. No. Okay. As he left. Okay. Now, so in other words, in a very full understanding, there, by reading through the Bible, then you will see that And when Jesus comes to, that, that is, it, just remember that. When Jesus Christ comes to call us home at the time of the rapture, that is the rapture, right? You see, he promised us to you know, come bring us to the father's place right so and he will come to receive us exactly as he left okay so how do you leave okay first of all how do you leave now he left bodily okay ascending to the clouds okay just add as um i'm going to share this okay just as act 1 9 11 it says when he had uh, spoken these things, while he, they beheld, he was taken up, and the cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them uh, in white apparel, in, <clears throat> which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why, ye, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. Okay, so <clears throat> first of all, I'm reading the King James Version. Okay, so it's a little crunky. Okay, but uh, but, it, but by research, you will know that actually um, <clears throat> uh, this Jesus. Uh, will um, 
will come back as the way that he left. Okay, so basically speaking, he's bodily raising, ascending to the heaven, and just like a, a video playback, you know, like a, uh, <clears throat> in reverse, in rewinding it, all right, so then you will see Jesus coming back, but of course, in like manner, okay, it's not in, in the exact manner, okay, but it will be something like that. So in other words, when we see him, if we do see him from uh, <clears throat> top-down view, or from the bottom up view, okay, it depends on where we are, okay, and um, then we will see that he will be coming back just as he left, bodily, okay, we can see, see him, okay, not just spiritually or feeling him, but bodily with our mortal eyes, we can see his return, okay, so this is first thing, right, it, it explains to us, Okay, so okay, so uh, now, why? Because um, and um, so after he spent, remember, just to remember this, after he spent three days in the grave, he rose and stood on the earth in his new body. How how his you know how does what is the meaning of bodily? You know how bodily is body is is his body. So in, let's turn to the page to Luke 24.39, okay? So now I have 24.39, Luke. Now, this is Luke 24.39. Behold my hands and my feet, that it is my, I myself, handle me and see for a spirit hath not flesh and bones as ye see me have. Okay, so in other words, is that it's a physical body. Okay, so, well, technically we don't actually see the bones. Okay, so I mean, even a human being, okay, we don't see, technically we don't see the bone, we only see the skin bit of it, right? Maybe the flesh. Okay, so, uh, and in the same way that, you know, we can feel him, okay, we can grab him. Uh, if you want, we can punch him in the face. Okay, so this is how, bo how body, bodily he's going to come back. Okay, and he will have two hands and two feet. Okay, so I mean, so it is not coming back in, in like a toaster, you know, <laughs> or he's not coming back in a light bulb. Okay, it's not any strange format like a lizard, right? Whatever. No. He will be like a human form, bodily, right? With with the kind of flesh we kind of understood as a human being, okay. So and also in if you read later in the Bible in the verse, he says in forty one to forty three, okay, he says and while they yet believed not for for joy and wonder, he said unto them, Have ye here any meat? And they gave him a piece of uh, a piece of a broad a fish and of and honeycomb, what is of a honeycomb, okay? And he took it and did it before them, okay? So, in other words, you know, so it means that he, after he got resurrected, he will be able to eat, okay, and uh, drink, okay, or whatever liquid uh, he's eating and uh, drinking. Okay, so he can eat. So it's not like you're kind of so immortal that you don't need to do anything, okay? But you don't need to eat, but you can eat. Okay, what I'm saying is you can eat, okay? Just in case if you didn't know, that eating is a great joy that, he, that God has created for human beings, okay? Now, <clears throat> Now, is, this is also a picture of all the believers, all the church will be like that at rapture, okay? Because, um, because that's what it says in the Bible, okay? In 1 Corinthians 15, 51, okay, uh, verse, verses 51 through 53, it says, this is Paul speaking, uh, sorry, the Holy Spirit speaking through Paul, okay? Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep 
but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall raise incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this incorruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. Okay, so in other words, is if you're dead, the sorry, the, <clears throat> in other words, if, if you are dead, then shall rise become incorruptible. Okay, and if you are not dead, we shall change like the mortal, we will become immortality. So, in other words, is incorruptible and immortality. Okay, so it's the same thing, <clears throat> it's just be for the dead and for the living. So in other words, at rapture, that it doesn't matter if you're dead or not dead in Christ, you will be taken up just as you were, but in the perfect uh, shape or perfect body. All right. So you will not be raised like, sorry, you will not be raised in a clock in a, sorry, in a into a cell phone. Okay. You will not be raised into a light bulb. All right. Just what, you know, into just back to yourself, but without this disease and wrong things, you know, anything that you don't like in your life, <clears throat> sorry, in your body, you, it will be gone, all right? Your body will be really, truly perfect. Even better than if you had the chance to design for yourself, okay? So, <clears throat> so this is uh, a rapture, all right, for the dead or for the living, okay? We will be like Jesus Christ, wow. Like Jesus Christ? Well, like Jesus Christ, that we're not, but we're not God, okay? Just to tell you, we're like Jesus, like bodily. We have this a kind of similar body, or right? incorruptible body, or uh, it says here, incorrupt, incorruptible body, okay? Or immortality, all right? Now, just as even the psalmist, all right, in the old, in the old times, psalmist says in chapter 17, verse 15, okay? He says, as for me, I will, now he's talking about at the end of his days. Uh, as for me, I will behold thy face in righteousness. I shall be satisfied when I awake in thy likeness. Okay. So what is, what is said, what it tells us is that if he is awakened, he will be awakened in the likeness of his God. Okay. Now, if you read the, obviously, you have to read the passage, okay? You don't just take it out of the context, okay? So read the through passage, you will see that is, he will be satisfied when he was awakened from uh, he, uh, from resurrection or from death or whatever, okay? So it's not just get off the bed, okay? So it's not like getting off the bed, then I'll be awake, awakening your likeness. No, no, no. Even you sleep in, in God's likeness, by the way. So... What is what he says by awake? It means he's awakening from the dead, just as Jesus says, awaking from the dead. Okay, so <clears throat> also in Philippians, okay, uh, ver uh, chapter three, verse uh, twenty-one, it says, uh, Paul says that God will change our vile body. Okay, he says, who shall change? Which is, uh, Jesus Christ, by the way, G the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change our vile body that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body see this is the literal <clears throat> literally um proof okay according to the work of whereby he is able to even so he is able even to subdue all things unto himself well, this is that uh, he, what he will do he'll be able he's capable of of course that is him but for us we will Revive, uh, we will be resurrected, or uh, if you are still alive, then we'll be taken up this new body and just like Jesus Christ. But our new body, uh, that the Lord will change from our vile body into his glorious bodies, uh, into his glorious body. Okay, so we will all have our glorious bodies. Okay. <clears throat> Remember this, if you have problems with um, understanding the Word of God, then it's either the Holy Spirit or the Bible will, will set you free. Remember this, because the Bible is the Word of God, okay? But the Word of God can be twisted, just like, um, or can be 
are blurred out, right, or can be misinterpreted. So, so you don't get the truth. But plus, but with the spirit of what was it? We call that what? What do we call? What does the Bible call the Holy Spirit? The spirit of the truth. Remember, it's the spirit of truth. So the spirit of truth that dwells in you will guide you through reading the Bible as it's written and with the proper understanding within the context. Okay, don't take it out of the context. And you will get to know the truth and you will be set free. Okay. Now, finally, there is uh, one more Bible verse that proves that helps that um, he, uh, when he returns, uh, he'll be, or what he will like, what is going to be like. In 1 John th chapter 3, verse 2, Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it does not yet appear that we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, this is about Jesus Christ appearing, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Okay, now, so in other words, is the final proof that we're, that is when he appears in front of our eyes, it doesn't matter whether he takes us up into the clouds and then into the Father's place as, as, as he promised, or he comes down from uh, the third heaven <clears throat> to earth with us, with, with church, but it depends on where you are and when you are, okay? Um, that the resurrection will be just like him into the glorified bodies, into our glorified bodies, okay? And he'll change our vital, uh, sorry, vital model bodies into the glorified bodies, okay? So this is, uh, this is just a, um, a basic understanding. Remember this, uh, Remember this, that Jesus, after the resurrection of Jesus Christ, uh, it is actually possible, and this is just a picture, okay, somebody painted like several hundred years ago, but what it shows from, even from the word of uh, the Bible, is it tells us that when, after Jesus was resurrected, okay, in his glorified body, he can eat, and he will, and actually he maintain uh, obviously, he deliberately, I mean, he deliberately maintained the holes in their hands and in their uh, rib area, okay? Because he he remained that way because he wants to show the disciples that this is him, okay? Um, and in those days, uh, people need that proof, okay? So, so this is, so this is for. Um, for tonight. Okay, may the Lord bless you and give you all.